Hey everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day or evening or morning, whenever you may be watching this. Uh, but I wanted to be able to share with you uh, just a short video on uh, how on what I've been doing with my overhead work these last couple of months. And as of now, it is June the 1st uh, today. And so I'm just putting my phone on silent real quick. Uh, so I want to be able to show you what I've been doing that has helped me so much with overhead stability. My upper back has been feeling much better, much stronger. Uh, and starting out during the first two months, about five days a week, uh, I do this work. And I started out by doing about 200 meters and I built up to about 400 meters. And right now I'm, I, I'll do between 400 to 600 meter walks uh, each day uh, with this. Now, Starting this week, I'm actually going to be doing uh, just three sessions of overhead work compared to my normal five. Uh, but that's also because I'm starting to increase the weight. So I need a little bit more time to recover uh, as I'm throwing in this new stimulus. Um, I'm also doing some other stuff to be able to help with that. But for now, I want this to be more of an introductory video. So I want to show you what I did in the beginning. Uh, and then I'll create additional videos that will go into, okay, once you have this down, and you've been doing this for a couple months, then this will be the next step. And, I'll, and I will share that. As always, make sure that you consult your physician regarding this or any other exercise program that you would consider getting into. Um, you know, I'm not responsible if you're hurt or anything like that at all. Uh, you want to make sure that you know how to be able to do these movements even on your own. Uh, and you do take the risk of possible injury uh, if you do decide to do this. Uh, whether it be unsupervised or without any other um, uh, advice from a medical or training professional. So, all right, let's go ahead and get to the video here. Uh, let's see, here I am uh, starting out. Uh, I'm going to move the I'm going to move the uh, video a little bit so that way I can see this. But all right, so. We're gonna hit play on this, um, and my wife actually uh, videoed me uh, as far as on this, and so uh, let me make sure of one thing. Also, I'm gonna mute this so that way, not to because I, I just want to be able to show you. So notice how I have it. First of all, uh, first of all, bands are through the uh, bumper plates. You can use metal plates as well. That's that. That's not a problem. It's more of just knowing how much weight you're going to be uh, you're, you're going to be carrying. I personally use bumpers because uh, if I needed to put the weight down at least the bumpers are going to be soft on the way down. Um, so um, also you'll notice that I have a uh, pad on the back of my neck uh, definitely do that on purpose because down the road, if you feel like, oh, I need to rest for a moment, you don't want the bar just digging into the back of your neck. So uh, those are a couple of, per se, quality of life things that, that, that help me. Um, let's go ahead and start the video, kind of show you what you're looking at in regards to how you're standing. Notice my elbows are back. Um, you know. My arms are not perpendicular straight up and down. They don't have to be, uh, but you know, just everything is straight up. I've got natural curvature in my back. I've got my uh, scapula pressed together. Uh, so, in fact, I'll go back just a little bit here. You can see that I've got, you know, with bringing my elbows back, it brings my shoulders together. You can see right here uh, that I have that. I'm looking straight ahead. I'm not looking down. I'm not looking up. Uh, keeping your head in a neutral position is important to be able to produce as much power as you can in whatever movement you're doing, whether you're doing shoulder pressing or anything else. So, um, and for me personally, um, let me back it up just a little. For me personally, I like having my thumbs there. Uh, that that works for me. Uh, if you wanted to have your thumb back to where it curled like along with your fingers, that's fine. If you wanted to be able to have a closed position. That's fine. Whether like this, whether like this or like this, doesn't matter. It's just all familiarity uh, with the movement because you don't want the bar to slip out of your hand. And so, if you need in the beginning, you may want to grip like this to start, 
and then later on down the road you can grip like this. So, all right, continue looking. Now with these bands, um, they're going to be bouncing a bit. Uh, as you'll see, I kind of get myself ready. I brace myself uh, as I'm about ready to be able to lift, and I press up. And you'll notice that I don't bounce it up. I don't any, anything like that because honestly, any bounce, it's going to come back to you uh, as far as just in having to work harder to initially stabilize the weight because uh, you'll notice there was very little bounce on these um, on these uh, plates. Watch the, watch this again, and you'll notice that you know there's a little bit of waving as far as with the wind, but as I bring it up, barely anything. So now as I start walking, you can see the things start swinging, things start moving a bit, uh, stuff like that. That is part of the movement. You're never going to be able to get it completely stable and such because you're a moving you're moving yourself. The best way to minimize that swing is to take short steps. Do not take long steps. Take short steps. Now, as um, now as you're walking, you'll notice I have my head just a little bit forward, and I do that on purpose to be able to increase the pinch in the back of my shoulders right here. I want that. Okay. Now, when you're holding it up. I want you to think about holding it up with your upper back, squeezing that together. When you start feeling weak, just lock your elbows out. That's the most important thing. Keep those elbows locked out as much as possible so the weight transference goes through your elbows down into your shoulders. And then once it comes down to your shoulders, these back muscles here, okay, these traps, these upper back muscles, they're going to start engaging. They're going to start firing and turning on. You do it right and you do it with a heavy enough weight, you're going to feel those back muscles start to be able to take the weight instead of your shoulders, which are much smaller muscles, right? If we depended on just these, it's not going to work. These are just the weight transference and then we get to the upper back. So I'm going to give you just a couple more steps here, uh, but that's basically it. You just want to be able to shuffle lightly. My wife wasn't able to keep up with me uh, with the camera uh, just because she didn't want it to be too shaky and such. Wouldn't have been helpful. But you'll notice I'm in the middle of the road. I'm on a road that kind of slopes down. Uh, you just want to be conscious of that because if you are walking with one part even just a little bit lower than the other, you're going to, especially at the higher weight, you're going to feel that little bit of imbalance. And so... Um, I've been lucky, been able to work out at a time of day that really nobody is driving up and down the road. Haven't had to worry about it at all. So, uh, but yeah, so that is how you do the overhead work. And then, uh, all that's left is you just kind of determining where you want to do this, um, marking it out, measuring it out. Um, I use Google maps to be able to measure out my distances, um, and to be able to help with that. Uh, let me fast forward this just a bit. Uh, I want to show you just, here we go. So it was at this point, I turned around and I was just, I was uh, shot as far as at that point. So I'm working on having the 35s on each side doing 200 meters. I uh, have not made it yet. I can do it with 25s, but I have not been able to do it with the 35s yet. Uh, that's just a... Uh, that's a total of 115 pounds uh, right there. So, uh, but again, you'll notice even while I'm walking past, watch, just head neutral, everything straight. There we go. You see my elbows are a little bit back. That way it helps to pinch the scapula together. Just all those different things that are needed to be able to make sure that you have your back, you have your uh, core, everything is in proper place. And I'm still taking relatively choppy steps. It's not like I'm taking long strides. I'm making sure that I'm in a good place there. So hopefully this video was helpful. Um, again, I would suggest five times out of the week to start. 
uh, because you're going to grow in a lot of strength with this. You're, as your body gets used to this movement more and more, you're going to become stronger at it quickly. So that's why we're doing it so many times during the first two months. Then, by the third month, you should be pretty familiar with where you're at. And at that point, you'll be able to uh, start increasing the weight significantly. Uh, and you'll be able to know exactly where those thresholds are and start working through that. So, enjoy. Please hit me up if you have any questions. Happy to be able to share my experience. Again, I'm not a tra trainer professional or a medical professional. And so I will say for the second time, if you are doing this at your own risk, make sure that you consult your uh, medical advisor uh, should you need to. And uh, you know that will only be a blessing for you. So thanks again for watching. And please let me know if you have any questions about maybe any other work that I'm doing or things that I'm doing to be able to get certain results that you see with the videos that I share. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.